Joining me now with a reaction and discussion is New Jersey Congressman Jeff Andrew. It's good to see you, Congressman. How essential is it that Americans vote in, in plenty of support for a potential Trump administration, but also how crucial is it that President Trump wins to order that damage assessment from Hillary's illegal server and Joe Biden's decades-long stealing of classified information? Oh, it's all important. This is the ultimate showdown here. This is an election that decides whether we are going to continue to be the United States of America, this great republic, this shining city on the hill, this country that literally has saved the free world, or are we going to fall into globalism? You know what? There's an end game. And the end game for the left, the end game for the Democrats in leadership is to change the United States forever, like Barack Obama said, fundamentally change the United States of America. And they want it to be just another mediocre country in the world, no better, no worse, and some say worse, and just to become part of the world community or that we are going to continue to lead. We're going to continue to be the best country that ever was on the face of the earth. This is what it's about. We are trying not only to save the Republican Party, but much more importantly, to save the very republic itself. No kidding. You know, I got to get you to weigh in, too, on this momentous Supreme Court ruling this morning, 9-0 to zero decision. High court rejected Colorado's attempt to kick Trump off the presidential primary ballot. Congressman, isn't it sad it had to go all the way up to the high court that, that leftists couldn't see in lower courts how wrong it is saying that they're trying to save democracy by removing voters' choices at the ballot box? Never seen anything like it. And the reason I haven't seen anything like it, because all of us have never seen anything like it. The fact that it had to go to the Supreme Court is shameful. I mean, we've got to understand and realize if this was allowed to be, our country would become like a third world country. There would be different candidates in different states. And by the way, what goes around comes around. It could happen to people that were Democratic candidates as well. The one thing that our nation is based upon is free elections, that it is the people who choose, the people who decide. And this is literally a case where they wanted to be able, the extreme left, those in power, those of importance, to determine who you could or could not vote for. And what is that reminiscent of? A dictatorship, an oligarchy. It's mm. reminiscent of what's going on in Russia right now when Putin's getting everybody he doesn't want off of the ballot. Thank God it was 9 nothing. I was glad to see that. You know, this was a big day, not only for President Trump and for all of us, but this was a big day for our republic and for democracy. Congressman, got a little over a minute left. Let's get into the overspending battle. Congress unveiling a bipartisan package of six overspending bills because Congress didn't do their job and finish the required 12 spending bills. Congressman, Americans go to work every day. They do their jobs. Why should we, the people, give politicians in D.C. one more dime if they refuse to do their jobs? I'm with you. I agree. Uh, the speaker is doing the best he can. Unfortunately, the Republican caucus isn't sticking together the way that it should. But the bottom line is, I'm not voting for these bills. I'm not voting to allow illegals to get legal representation to pay for that. I'm not voting to keep the border that it way, the way that it is. I'm not voting to count legals in the census. These were all amendments we put in to prohibit that stuff, and it was taken out. And there's a bunch of other things. And by the way, we should go back to pre-COVID spending. We are have a bloated budget. We're spending on DEI. We're spending on all kinds of uh, mandates for electric vehicles. It's just wrong. What we're doing is wrong there. Uh, the speaker is doing. He's a good man. But this is not a budget or these aren't bills that I'm voting for.